Welcome to final part of this vlog on my kitchen renovation project. We removed this wall, painted everything clean and now we are off to IKEA. Ever since we took this project in hand, IKEA has become our second home. The long lineups at IKEA are just amazing, especially after the COVID time. Everybody's trying to get some projects done at their home. Just like everyone else, we are working on our kitchen. And if you're looking for a budget DIY kitchen, then IKEA is your choice. Swedish Enterprise has brought a lot of business and employment to this area and it's a sustainable building. We all like it. Even though IKEA offer a lot of display kitchens on their showroom area, I tell you, it's not easy to impress my wife. It was fun to see her reject all those fancy kitchen designs, but she got her own taste and class, right? Another no. Oh, the IKEA must be heartbroken. So after so many rejects and hours of walking in the mall, we finally found a couple kitchens which were acceptable by my missy. You would make sure to open each drawer, each cabinet, just picturize how she will organize her own kitchen and make it her own personal space. She chose lightings, green area, and after a long search, she finally said yes to one of the kitchen. Wow, finally, the kitchen design is final. This little girl was always with her mom in making that decision. They explored the kitchen a little bit more before we headed to the area where they allow us to design the kitchen on computers. So on these desks, one of the IKEA customer service person helped us to learn how we design the entire kitchen area, plan out where we want our cabinets, where will be other appliances and everything on the computer model. We had to find location of sink, where the plumbing is and all other itty bitty pieces of information. Due to COVID, we did not spend a lot of time at the IKEA center to design all this. So I would move home, open my laptop and open the same designs. Uh, I made sure all the measurements are accurate. And that's how we started designing our cabinets, planned our appliances location. And we create this item list, which has all the things that we need for our kitchen project. Then we paid for our item list and we got everything mail to our house everything from ikea is here in garage in these 1000 million pieces and we have to put it all together you can see if you ever plan a project this big then make sure this item list will be your best friend it should be handy and i also drew a small drawing so that i can number all the cabinets and assort all the pieces in that specific order so I kind of created a floor map of all the cabinets and put all the pieces that belong to that one single cabinet at one place. So that all I have to do is take this bundle upstairs, put it together and keep it ready to mount on the wall. So this job is done. Now tomorrow morning, assembly. So the first step in installation is mounting these rails. So now these rails have to be at a specific height and I have to make sure that everything there is all square spaced. So... Throughout the process of building this kitchen, I figured out that IKEA's instructions were amazingly simple and clear. So all I had to do was follow along and things will be done correctly. One funny thing is in India, I never had a chance to put my hands on carpentry job. This was something that I thought I would never be able to do and hence I never took any such project in hand. But while working at Nova Scotia Community College, I was in touch with a few carpenter friends 
who made it look so cool and easy. So I thought, okay, this time I'm gonna do this entire project myself and let's see how it turns out. But of course, putting IKEA cabinets together cannot be considered as a carpentry job. It can be considered more as a Lego job because it's all about pieces to put together, just like playing Lego in a giant size. So after doing a few cabinets, process was pretty clear. Mount the rail at the correct height, build the cabinet and hang on the rail. As simple as that. Next morning, uh, I started checking things out, how much progress has been done and what else do I need to finish the job. Once I started doing my math after building most of the cabinets, I figured out I'm missing a few pieces here and there. And to get those pieces, I had to go to IKEA again. So I might head IKEA to pick up a missing piece from my kitchen cabinet and look how much lineup is there. Turned out we were not only the few people who thought, hey, let's do our kitchen again during this COVID lockdown time. There were many other people like us who were just redoing their home altogether. And IKEA had an amazing business during this time. This morning, Romanika decided to come to my rescue and she was pretty good at putting the cabinets together. Or at least she thought so. So all the jobs that could have been done in a few hours took a complete day because this madam was having a great time with her little hammer and nails. Just like it was a learning experience for me, uh, I think even Romanika had a good learning experience. Um, maybe she thought that daddy is better at carpentry job than dentistry. I don't know. So what you see uh, in the background is a propane range and a gentleman is there hooking it up. We had an electrical stove earlier, but my wife wanted a propane gas range now. So that's getting ready over there. While Romanika took care of all the cabinets installation, me and our handyman Sly were trying to hang the range hood on the wall. It was a tricky job to measure exactly at what height it should be hung. So we had some fun. After picking white cabinets on the white walls of this kitchen, my wife also picked these white floorings from Home Depot. These are vinyl floorings and we thought that the kitchen should have a complete different look from rest of the house. Even though it's open concept, it looks nice when the kitchen area has a different flooring. So he started installing the flooring while we worked on what to do next. Next tricky part was building the drawers. The drawers was a tricky part because we need to align them at a specific height with uh, a good distance between each other. And these drawers had some electricals involved so that when I open the drawer, a light turns on. And when I close the drawer, the light turns off. So for all that micro adjustments, I took a good time uh, putting these drawers together but just watch the end of the video and you'll see how cool the drawer light looks and fyi it's not super easy that uh, you will have your whole kitchen redone while getting your food ready cooking on everyday basis but with some proper planning i think we managed it pretty well 
All right, it looks like we are getting closer now. All the cabinets are in place, but the countertop is not there yet. And just like everything is white in color, my wife also picked countertops to be pure white color. A shout to Jade Stone for helping us with the countertop quad stone delivery within a week time. They had a full empathy with us that we are living without a fully functional kitchen. So they put our order on priority and it was amazing to see how these big heavy pieces of quartz countertop can be brought to our place in just one piece. These jade stone wraps were super friendly. They polished the countertop and made everything look shiny white, just like my wife loves it. I think my wife is pretty happy with her new white kitchen. Oh my god, white quartz countertop, white cabinet, white flooring, white paint. I'm so happy IKEA doesn't sell white husbands. Brr. So that's our propane stove. And uh, this is the drawer light I was talking about. When you open the drawer, it lights it up, makes it look a little bit more pretty. I don't know what's the use for that. But anyways, uh, yes, these when you open the drawers, a light turns on. And then my wife also wanted to hide all garbage and recycle organizers in these cabinets so that we do not see any bins outside. So all the garbage organizers are in these two drawers and under the sink. And uh, this is our new dishwasher. That's all. And there were some drawers in our kitchen island for extra storage. And last but not the least, we have to give a shout to our friend Sheila for all the awesome electrical work. We had to install this pretty chandelier on top of our kitchen island. So she did an amazing job uh, helping us out. And once she put the electrical fitting in, it was on us to decorate it. So we installed these track lights uh, for the focus light on the walls uh, and also this uh, pretty chandelier on top of the kitchen island. So my wife and I took at least an hour to hang all those little tits and bits of crystals on this chandelier. And trust me, it was like cherry on top of a cake. And looks like we are almost ready. Lights on. So finally, after a few weeks of hard work and $18,000 later, we had our own beautiful kitchen, just as my wife and I wanted, right here in our house that we built ourselves DIY. We are very happy by breaking that wall and having this open concept living and kitchen area. It has brought a lot of light and room and positive energy to our house. After the COVID-19 lockdown time, we all have started 
spending more time at home and we have learned that our home is our happy space this is where we are most comfortable where we prepare our food where we have our chats with the family eat dinner together and have an awesome time just like most of us we also spend a lot of time in the kitchen either we are preparing our big meals or we are hanging out with our friends Overall, this is our favorite project at home so far. I think the wait was worthwhile. I finally got my dream kitchen. Cheers to an awesome life. Cheers to ourselves. <laughs>